Hi guys, today I wanted to show you how to do your eyebrows. I do do them myself probably once every two weeks I would say is when I have to do it. I used to get them waxed when I was younger but it's just more painful in my opinion. Tweezing is a whole lot easier for me because I really don't have many hairs to tweeze. I don't have like a lot of hairs that grow. I personally like to be in control of my face. <laughs> if I mess up, I know it's on me, it's my fault. Rather than it being like someone else's fault and then I'm just gonna be like really upset about it. <laughs> if anyone's gonna screw up my eyebrows, it's gonna be me. The first part of this video, um, I'm gonna show you guys how I tweeze my eyebrows, how I keep them in shape. And then the second video that I'm gonna be doing for you is um, how I fill them in and stuff. So, hope you guys enjoy this little two-part series, and I'll see you in my part two video. Bye! So here's what you'll be needing. A pair of thin scissors, slanted tweezers, and a spoolie brush. First, brush all your hairs upward with a spoolie brush to position them for trimming. Then open a pair of scissors or barber shears and rest one blade directly on the skin under the hairs you want to trim. The hairs that are ready to cut should be sitting in between the two blades. And then you want to slowly close the scissors to trim the hairs. And I usually do this a few times to make sure I get all the hairs, but you also don't want to forget to hold the scissors at a slight angle so that you're trimming along the natural curve of your brow. And then you want to do the exact same thing for the other brow. And if you can't get them to look 100% symmetrical, don't worry. It's completely normal and it happens to everybody, including me. You can always even them out when you fill them in afterwards. Next, brush all your hairs downward with a spoolie brush, and any hairs that stick out from the natural curve of your brow need to be trimmed. So take a pair of thin scissors at a slight angle again, keep the hairs you want to trim inside the two blades, and slowly close the blades to trim the hairs. And again, you just want to do this exact same thing for the other brow as well. Now using a slanted tweezer, slanted is best because it grabs the hairs better, you want to pluck any stray hairs beneath your brow and make sure to grab the hairs from the base and pull quick to avoid painful tugging. And then pluck any stray hairs above the brow as well and repeat on the other eyebrow. Here are some quick guidelines to follow for shaping your eyebrows. The brow should start at a point above the inner corner of your eye. The arch of the brow should be at a spot above the outer edge of your iris. And the brow should end at a diagonal angle from the outer corner of your eye. Now that you've got that down, you can go back through the brows once more with your tweezers and shape them accordingly however you guys feel most comfortable. That's it for my complete eyebrow tutorial or part one of this two-part series. Hopefully you guys learn how to trim, shape, and groom your eyebrows. And if you want to see how to fill in your eyebrows, then click this next video tutorial right here. But please give this video a thumbs up before you leave if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos from me. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm not going to use my legs. I might have to use my legs if I pick you up. This is going to hurt. Ow. A little bit. Here, wait, stop, stop. Ow, I'm sorry. I did chest yesterday. Okay, Are you ready? Wait, I don't know. Alright, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> You're so heavy. Come here. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're so heavy compared to them. Okay, let me try and lift you. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no, my no. God. No, no, no. no. <laughs>